Hello everyone and welcome back. In this short video I will show a real-time printing of a large size photo uh, on this AT8550 printer. I have used this printer now for a while and printed quite a few large size images as well as of course small ones but um, I thought that Maybe some of you are interested in saying how long it takes to print a photo of this size. This is uh, A3 Plus, which is uh, 300 and uh, let's say 330 uh, by 483 millimeter large. And it's an Epson printer and I'm currently using Epson photo paper also. I choose uh, to use this photo paper because uh, this Epson software doesn't provide a lot of uh, ICC profiles for uh, selection and uh, I guess that uh, the best quality currently I can get is through using Epson paper. For the purpose I chose this uh, beautiful sunset image taken a few years ago with a Nikon D300S camera. I will print it in the same large uh, A3 plus size which is uh, 329 by 483 millimeters. Uh, the software I'm using for printing is the Epson print layout uh, which is a free software. Uh, you can download it from Epson from the Epson site. Okay so let's start the printing process. Um, the printer is connected through Wi-Fi, so it will take a while before the data is sent to the printer. Even though I have a fast Wi-Fi at home. So the paper is loaded and then the printer currently is switched off. And as soon as I start printing it will turn it on. The first thing the printer does is output the uh, pushing out the output tray, and that's done automatically. And then as soon as there is enough data, it will start printing. I am printing at a high quality setting. Uh, there is a standard quality also, but uh, I, do, I don't find it uh, good enough for uh, photo. I think the printer is... Uh, well, how should I say? It's very quiet, so it's uh, comfortable to use it in the same room as I am.
actually this printer if you want you can open the lid and you can see it printing as well as the printer moves But I normally print with the lid closed because I don't want any dust or anything get, getting stuck on the image. The printer in, uh, is uh, a dry type of uh, printer ink, so it's, uh, uh, I mean, not dry, but it's, uh, it's not heated, so it's a cold type of drying process. And it dries quite quickly, but uh, it is recommended to, uh, to have the paper in free air for about uh, one day if you if you want to frame it and frame it behind the glass that way you can be sure that uh, the ink is completely dry as you see now uh, the image uh, starts to be shown even outside the printer and the uh, colors looks look amazing The printer display is not displaying anything exciting except there is a choice of uh, aborting the printing process if you would say that uh, there is something wrong with the printer there is, is no, no point of continuing printing so you can always abort it especially a large print like this it consume, consumes some ink
I think uh, the colors are absolutely fantastic. I am very very happy with this printer. Uh, and it really lifts uh, my photography to another level. So far I have only used Epson printer paper, uh, but I'm so far happy with the results uh, printed on it. And this is, oh, let's see, yeah, there it is, It's um, it looks very nice in real life, I don't know how well you can see it. Uh, in the video it's it's uh, it's a bit difficult to show it in a video but anyway it's it's just beautiful so another picture for my office decoration Thank you for watching and that's it for now. Just a few more words. When the printer is ready it will of course display on the display that it is done and there is uh, not much else to do on the display. If you want to close the printer you can push the close uh, output tray button and then everything closed down. If you also want to shut the printer down, it will ask if you want to turn the power off. I don't know why it is asking, but it is asking. So just push and then say yes. And then eventually the printer will shut down. Uh, the printer will go into a sleep mode after a while, which you can configure on your own. If you want, you don't have to shut it down, but... Uh, I normally do it because I waste electricity even if it's a very very small consumption it still consumes some power. So that's it now I will close the video. Thank you very much once again. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe. And of course, uh, also welcome back next time.